So let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, you have come to call us into the newness of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to draw us more closely to you in our hearts and our lives. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You ask us to recognize your love for us, which grows ever more fully. Lord, have mercy. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of whole burnt rams and fat of fat, fatlings. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who asks these things of you? Trample my courts no more. Bring no more worthless offerings. Your incense is loathsome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling of assemblies, octaves with wickedness, these I cannot bear. Your new moons and festivals I detest. They weigh me down. I tire of the load. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will, I will show, show the saving, the saving power, power of, God. of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, the upright I, will I will show the, show the saving, saving power, power of God. Of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the, the upright, upright I, I will show, show the saving, the saving power, power of God. God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think you or do you think you that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way I will show the salvation of God. To the, to the upright, upright I will show, I will show the, the saving, saving power, power of, God. of God.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. Whoever receives me receives the one who sent me or receives a prophet because he is a prophet receives a prophet's reward or receives a righteous man because he is righteous receive a righteous man's reward. Whoever gives only a cup of cold water to these little ones to drink because he is a disciple and then I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his 12 disciples, he went away from that place to teach and preach in their towns the gospel of the Lord. This reality uh, that Jesus constantly calls us to is the reality he tried to awaken the hearts and the minds of the Israelites to. And that was the reality of the fact that it's not who we are, but who we belong to. And he's trying to tell us that in, this, in, these, in these teachings. It's not who we are, but who we belong to. We belong to the Lord. We serve the Lord. We follow the Lord in every way. St. Henry, who we celebrate today, and his wife were very dedicated to that sense in their actions of faith throughout their lives. Truly gave to the poor and took care of the poor in so many ways that once they were pass from this world to the next, the church recognized them as truly saints in the kingdom of God because their actions were that of uh, the piety and humility of recognizing that they serve others by serving God and they serve God by serving others. It's a lot like the language that Mother Therese used in her time, as well as her missionaries of charity use today, this sense of God's thirst for us. And in that thirst, Mother was given the thirst of reaching out and serving the poorest of the poor, the most needy of society and the world, in such a way in which she uh, made globally her work before she went from this life to eternity. In a real sense, that's what St. Henry did. Recognizing God's thirst and hunger for the poor around him, and he could not ignore them. Constantly reaching out to them and helping them from his own pocket for their need, for their welfare, for their concern. Never thinking about himself, but always thinking about the other. In in our relationship of life, that's what Jesus is trying to say to us. The work of the kingdom of God is about recognizing that we don't stop with ourselves. We continue to work by recognizing that we need to reach out to the other, to whoever the other is in our lives, and desiring for them to know God in the relationship by the way we encounter them, the way we treat them the way we love them, the way we serve them. A great example of that, again, another saint, St. Francis of Assisi in his prayer, 
Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me so love. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. Where there's sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to love as to love. And in our relationship of life, in contemplating those actions, asking ourselves how do we do that as a means of reaching out beyond ourselves and trying to help the other. And trying to help the other through our prayer, through our humility, for our desire for nothing but the good for the other person in the ways that we know God wants best. Not that I want best, but what God wants best. And how do we do that? How do we serve them in that? Asking God for the wisdom and the guidance in the ways that we are capable and able to do that. Everyone has a different way. But the reality is that when we do things through the power and the resource of God's guidance in our lives and are open to that, we truly are living the way, the truth and the life. In the early church, that was the language it used. It was the way, the way in which they followed Jesus, the way in which they followed the faith he gave them and empowered them with. It is passed on to us that we may know the way, the truth, and the life, as Henry did in his life. And he fulfilled it in every way possible. And so, as in the words of Pope John Paul I, we are all potential saints in the making. We all have the capability of being that saint one day in heaven. And it's the desire of God that is that we all join God in the eternal dwelling with him in eternal life. We do that by imitating the saints that were given by trying to find a pattern that they give us so that we might create a pattern of our own of faithfulness in life. We turn to God this day and ask him to hear us as we call upon him. We pray through the invitation and through the prayers of St. Henry and his wife that we may always follow in the ways of Christ, in the ways that Christ calls us to act and to live and to strive towards being his holy people each day, we pray to the Lord. We offer this Mass for the repose of the soul of Jerry Haddock. That the Lord might give him eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves, the people of Transfiguration Parish, that the Lord may continue to call us into the life that he yearns for us to be more and more each day, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are lost and cannot find their way. That through our prayers and our intercessions for them, God might help them in the ways that he knows what is best for them, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are struggling with the coronavirus, both physically, emotionally, mentally, socially, that the Lord might help to bring about the end of this pandemic we pray to the Lord. We pray for our world that is torn apart by the tension of racial discord, that through the working 
of the leaders of faith in the communities that we serve. We may help people to recognize how we are all one in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the prayers that are in silence of each one of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Linda who has undergone surgery for her eyes, that the Lord might help her to recover quickly. For Father Fernando and his health, we pray to the Lord. Father of mercy, this day you give us the imitation of the Saint Henry. Help us to always recognize that we too are called to that potential of life as we find you more fully alive in our hearts and our midst, or actively engaged with us in each day through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offering of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayers to you, and grant that when we consume by what we believe, we may bring ever greater holiness to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saint, Henry, you make your church fruitful and strengthened ever new, and offering us a sure sign of your love that your saving mystery may be fulfilled and the great example that he lends to us in courage and the fervent prayer he has for us in sustaining us in all we do. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we give you thanks with exaltation as we acclaim. You indeed, holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending on your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, gave thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out for you and for many. 
for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Holy Father, with Gregory John, the Archbishop, with Joel and Bernard, his auxiliaries, and all your clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy, welcome them to live your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her spouse, St. Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and the Glorious Martyrs, with St. Henry, and with all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, make us always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with all of you. We offer to one another that sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold, this is the Lamb of God. This is he who has come to take away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. at home, please join us in the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, on the day of my baptism, you poured your love into my heart through the Holy Spirit, who unites me eternally to you. Through the same Spirit, I pledge my love and adore you, present in your most holy body and blood. Though I cannot consume you in this sacred banquet, let me be consumed by your complete desire for me so that my longing for you may be filled by your Bloody love Christ. alone and your mercy overflow Bloody through me Christ. into this world so in need. Amen. Body Christ. Body Christ. 
body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The blessing of the Lord be upon you this day. Blessing of the Lord be upon you this day. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. Nourished by the sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that the homage of dutiful service by which you render the feast of St. Henry and his wife may bring us an increase in your saving grace, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for the intercession of ending the pandemic and for peace and justice in our world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We go forward this day to love, serve, to know the Lord.
Thank you all for coming today. May God bless you in all you do this day.